What's up? My name is Blake and I love all things UX design and front end development. This year is part of my 2022, yeah, that's the year we're in, 2022 goals. I wanted to start creating more content on YouTube to help people in their design and front end development journeys. Cause I found small things can be helpful even if it's simple stuff like working in Figma or learning how to deploy websites like we'll do today using React and Netlify. So last week on my Twitch stream, I tried to take a React business card that I've been building as part of my front-end development boot camp uh, through Scrimba, and I wanted just to deploy it with Netlify. I had heard that Netlify is a really awesome productivity tool that helps developers quickly deploy things onto the web, something that I had really zero experience with. But I ran into a few problems, and I guess I chalked it up to not understanding how to use Create React app effectively and deploy builds, or I just didn't understand some of the React ecosystem for deployment itself. But what I found through some Googling after the frustrating Twitch stream was that I actually just had to Google a little bit deeper and read some threads to find out that there were some build settings that I needed to tweak. So I wanted to create this video just in case somebody in 2022 is brand new to development like myself and is trying to deploy a React app using Netlify. And hopefully this helps you out. If this video is helpful to you, please consider leaving a like, hitting subscribe, maybe ringing that notification bell because throughout the rest of the year, I'm gonna to continue to bring design and development content um, that's geared towards just designing and building things. Also, if you get stuck at any point and maybe this solution doesn't work for you, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try and troubleshoot with you that way. Or feel free to stop by one of my Twitch streams every Monday and Wednesday from 7 to 10 PST, where we just do more live design and development. But anyway, let's jump into how to solve some of these build issues that I was running into when using Create Your React app and trying to host my business card on Netlify. So like I mentioned, I have been trying to deploy this silly business card that's over here on the right hand side as part of a React course that I've been taking. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot to it. It's basically just a singular card that introduces people to who I am, things that I'm interested in, my website, getting people to you know filter into my LinkedIn profile, a little bit of about and some interest as well as some, some fun stuff that I do on the side through design development through different social media platforms. But the goal here was, was really just to learn how do I actually deploy something that I build? Because that's not something that's often touched on in a lot of the courses I've been taking that are geared towards just focusing on learning how to code. But a big part of being a developer is actually putting this stuff out in the real world. Again, I tried to use Netlify to do this. Uh, I went the route of just connecting my GitHub profile. So let's jump into Netlify really quick. So when you log into Netlify, you're gonna see a login screen just like this, where it's got your team overview. Right now I took everything down after I fixed it because I wanted to do it live here again to show that you can fix the issue as well as show you the issue I was experiencing when I was trying to go through my build. And what I used was just importing an existing project using a Git repo. In this case, I was using GitHub, but you can use GitLab or Bitbucket, whatever you're comfortable with. One other thing to consider is if you've already gone through and in your React project, so let me hop back over here. If you've already gone through and let's say you've created a React app, you can also just run in your NPM scripts, you zoom in, you can run the start build command and you'll get one of these build folders. This should also allow you to just go into Finder if you're on Mac or Windows Explorer if you're on a PC like I am and take your build folder and drag and drop it right here at the bottom. And that would also allow you to just deploy this website in the same way. Unfortunately, something's not quite right with my side of the Windows environment, so I can't drag and drop stuff. So I'm actually gonna just walk through the importing through GitHub. One kind of prerequisite here is I'm not going to go through the steps of connecting your GitHub and pushing stuff from local environment to GitHub. If that's something you're interested in, I'm happy to create content around that and just let me know in the comments. So let's import our Git repo that we wanna to use to deploy this business card straight from GitHub. So everything's already kind of authorized. I've already gone through a lot of the steps. Uh, I've only got it using one specific repository. So it's just gonna take this one that I've given access to and this is the React business card that I showed before. So you just select the repo that you want and here is really where the issue is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run with the base set of settings that it gives you, but just as a 
heads up or what we're going to go back and end up changing is we're going to end up changing the build command right here. Uh, this is actually not going to work correctly the first time. So if we go ahead and hit deploy site, it's going to take us to the next page. It's going to give us a URL that we're going to actually have our website deployed to. It's, you can see it's deploying the site right now. And we should be able to check out some of the lo deploy logs. So here we are. Everything seems like it's going okay at this point. And here we have it. So we've got a fail to compile. So it looks like the build command just failed completely. Uh, we've got some error messages here. Looks like it's exiting right at the NPM run build. And the, the thing to kind of note here that I didn't see the first time when I was running into this is this these two lines here. So treating warnings as errors because process.environment.ci equals true, where most CI servers are automatically set. Now, I didn't know what that meant. So all I did is I just straight Googled, because that's, that's something that you just have to do when you're working with some of these development tools. Uh, just straight up issues, Netlify, deploy React app. Because that's I knew that I was using React app. I knew that there had to be an issue that I was running into because I was trying to deploy it with specifically React and create React app. So as you can see, the one that I had popped into, there's a there's two threads, but the one that is kind of the most useful here and gives the most details is the second one. So really it comes down to, it looks like there's been something that's changed in Netlify's side. So they've added this kind of extra error check that allows when you even get warnings in Create a React app, that will still stop a production build in this case. Because you don't want to be deploying something potentially with security risks or fatal warnings or any of that stuff. But one way for me to get around the fix so that I could just experiment what it's like to get something up, even if it's got errors in it from a production standpoint, was to come down and read through this thread and it and you change your build command to be CI equals the normal NPM run build. You can still allow yourself to get stuff deployed, even if it's got warnings and errors in it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So all I did was copy and paste the CI equals NPM run build. And you go back over here to Netlify. We can go back to the top. And if we go to deploy settings, you're going to have this kind of like list. You have continuous development. And right below in the build settings panel or build settings card, there's an edit settings. Because really what we want to change is this build command. Because right now we're getting issues because we've got some warnings and things like that um, that are being triggered when I just run npm run build. So if we go to edit settings, just come in and replace this, great, that should be helpful. We'll even see what it looks like. One word of caution, because I deleted two repos before and like redid this a couple times just to make sure I could do it live. Uh, you do not want to have a space here. This actually creates a similar kind of fail. Uh, so you want to make sure there's no space between CI equals and then NPM run build. So no big deal. So if we save this, now all you have to do to redeploy your site is go on back up and you can go to deploys. As we can see, site has not been deployed because uh, I had a fail that we just went through. But we can go over to this trigger deploy and just redeploy our site. And it'll take us back to the deploy log. We're going to go through the same set of steps. But hopefully this time, we should actually get a running Create React app of our business card. So we've got Netlify build complete. We, got a, we even, just to go back up to the top and really show this, we did compile with warnings. And I think we've got a couple of warnings here, I think, to how I'm linking to pages and not using uh, no target or blank target incorrectly for JSX. But we've still had it compiled. We have a successful build. And we can either go up to the t this button that says preview, and that's going to take us to our site. Or if you just scroll all the way back to the top of the page and go to your deploys, you should see that now, okay, I have a link for this particular thing that I've deployed. And if you click on it, we should have this React business card up. So now it's actually running at this location that was given to me by Netlify, and you can change domain and all that kind of stuff. But again, the big thing was just changing the build command uh, to be CI equals npm run build. So that gave us a way to get around running with errors because if you're like myself, you may be starting development, you're not really sure of all the ins and outs of React, this is a way to get something up. So again, if you felt like this was a helpful video, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing or share it with somebody else who maybe has had some issues deploying their React apps or would like to learn a little bit more about how to use Netlify. Uh, another thing to consider is I'll also leave links to both 
of the pages that I found helpful in terms of help documentation, uh, both this thread here, and then there's a second one that kind of gives more details about why this was done or what really the, the rationale for the CI is inside of Netlify and why it kind of stops you from production builds in case that's helpful. Also, again, if this was at all confusing or you still need help, please drop a comment in the YouTube description. <laughs> Now, if, again, if you ran into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I'm happy to try and go back and forth and troubleshoot with you that way. Or feel free to stop by my, or feel free to join me on Twitch on Monday and Wednesday nights from 7 to 10 p.m. PST. As a last follow-up here, I am going to leave links to the support thread that I found that kind of goes through the ins and outs of the Netlify issue that I was talking about for deploying Create React apps if they don't have all the things, all the warnings kind of sorted out before you do a production build. Um, again, if you run into issues even after going through trying to use some of the steps that I've shown here, awesome. Feel free to reach out to me in the comments section of this YouTube video, and I'm happy to try and back and forth troubleshoot with you there. Or... Feel free to stop by my Twitch streams on either Monday or Wednesdays from 7 to 10 p.m. PST, and that's twitch.tv slash don'tpanicux. I'm happy to try and answer questions there or help you there. Um, but again, I'll leave information in the description, links and all that kind of good stuff. Thanks for checking this out.